Indicator 6. Maintain learning environments that promote fairness, respect, and care to encourage learning. Let's tackle the four key concepts namely, fairness, respect, care, and encourage learning. Let's start with fairness. Fairness is ensuring that all students are treated equitably and have equal opportunities to learn. Fairness in our teaching learning situation means making sure all our learners have a fair chance to learn. It's like making a game fair so nobody is at a disadvantage because of things like where they come from, how good they are, or what's happening in their life. For example, it includes helping our learners with disabilities during tests to make sure they can show what they know, just like everyone else. Next is respect. Fostering an environment where students and educators show consideration and regard for each other's opinions, backgrounds, and ideas. Respect in the context of the classroom means making a place where learners and teachers care about each other's thoughts, backgrounds, and ideas. It's like making everyone feel included and open to different points of view. For instance, it means telling our learners that it's okay to share their different ideas in class and making sure we listen to them and think their ideas are important. Then we have care. It is creating an atmosphere of care, which means showing concern, support, and empathy for students' emotional and academic needs. For example, in our classroom, when one of our learners says his tummy hurts, we may show care by quickly helping them. We might ask if he needs to use the bathroom or rest in the nurse's room. We show kindness and doesn't make a big deal in front of everyone. Another example, if our learners do not understand our lesson, we can show our care by being patient, explaining things in different ways, giving them extra help if needed, and making the classroom a place where it's okay to ask questions. This way, it's clear that our students' learning is important and we care about their understanding. We have encouraged learning. Ultimately, the goal of an educational environment is to motivate and inspire students to actively engage in the learning process and achieve their educational goals. Encouragement can take various forms such as positive reinforcement and creating an atmosphere where curiosity is nurtured. For instance, in our classroom, we can motivate and encourage our learners by celebrating their achievements, whether big or small. When our learner does well or makes progress, we give them praises. This boosts their confidence and makes them more excited about learning. This positive support nurtures their curiosity and helps them succeed in their education.